Hey guys, I'm Jordan, House Rest Mode. Today I'm going to be talking about what it means to be a disciple. The passage I'm looking in today is from Luke 6, chapters 27 to 36. Before, before I start reading, let's talk about the scenery, you know, the setting. Jesus is on a mountainside, he's hardcore praying, and over time a large crowd starts to form around him. When he gets done praying, he gets 12 disciples, and he says these very things. Verses 27 to 31. But to you who are listening, I say, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you. If someone slaps you on one cheek, turn to them the other also. If someone takes your coat, do not withhold your shirt from them. Give to everyone who asks you, and if anyone takes what belongs to you, do not demand it back. Do to others as you would have them to do to you. Think of the saying, keep your friends closer and your enemies closer, but in a different perspective. The saying means to watch on, watch your enemies and make sure they don't try to pull anything. But what we should do is say, you know, I'm going to pray for you today, or I'm going to go out of my way to make sure that I'm kind for you, despite how you treat me. Jesus tells us to help others, even though we don't get the best treatment back. Not only to take it, but to encourage it, as it says to, if someone slaps one cheek, turn to the other. Like a hit me, hit me back, hit me again scenario. Lend a brother some money, or as the passage says, your actual clothes, but don't expect to get it back. Now let's read 32 to 34. If you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. If you do good to those who are good to you, what credit is that to you? Even the sinners do that. And if you lend to those from whom you expect repayment, what credit is that to you? Even the sinners lend to sinners, expecting to be repaid in full. You know, I hate to break it to you, but the world is very misleading. It tells you that, you know, you should fight back, you know, be a gangster, and to not back down from fight, when really it's just distracting us from what God is telling us. God is telling us to be the bigger person. These verses tell us just because we help someone, some people doesn't make us different. It doesn't make us a disciple. We need to be comfortable and willing to give a hand to the people who are awkward and comfortable, uncomfortable for us to be around. Or maybe give more reasoning to someone being mean to us. Being a follower of Christ is not just about going to the church or not cussing. It's about showing that you care to everyone. Why do you think God said these things in the verses? Well, there's many ways to interpret it, but what I feel is that Jesus is preparing them for bad feelings toward their preachings of God, God's word, that are going to come. I think of his examples of loving one another and being good to those who are not good to you. And as I see it, it's just Jesus is preparing them to endure all the pain and face the harsh backlash that they'll be given. Our last verses 35 and 36. But love your enemies, do good to them, and lend to them without expecting to get anything back. Then your reward will be great, and you will be children of the Most High, because he is kind to the ungrateful and wicked. Be merciful, just as your Father is merciful. Verses 35 and 36 says to show the grace of the Lord and he will give you the best prize of all. All I have to do is show kindness. Show mercy like how Christ has shown mercy to us. Hope you guys are doing good. And know that it's all good.